Good morning, Al Inkles here at pressure-free.com. Wearing my Finland shirt. My son, uh, wow, a long time ago, over 10 years ago, I think, yeah. Uh, went to Finland for 10 days to play hockey. And um, first of all, I got Zoom bombed yesterday. Never had that happen before. <laughs> Let people in to my back to school conference and um, I instantly shut it down and then restarted to get the last half of the conference done. So if you've ever been Zoom bombed, thank goodness I had pressure free tools. I stayed calm. I didn't let it bother me. And I wanted to just share something that, uh, it seems like every s season I discover something new about nature and it just really inspires me. Um, and of course, going outside, being outside, being in the forest, being in a field where I am now, um, is, in, is very inspiring. A couple of things I noted, the goldenrod. Oh, here's a big patch of it. Look at the goldenrod coming out. So before pressure free, I, I probably couldn't have walked in this field because of allergies to goldenrod. And um, past 11 years, I've had no allergies, like none. <laughs> I don't have to worry about allergies anymore. And so many of my clients who, who struggle with allergies, it's so great when your immune system is working well and it doesn't overreact to things like goldenrod. So if you know someone who struggles with allergies, that just takes you out of your game every single day when you're having to deal with an allergy. So um, pressure free can be so helpful for people with allergies. Secondly, I'm really in love with milkweed pods. So I'm gonna turn my camera around to show you a lot of milkweed out here in Blanford Nature Center and I'm going to close up on the pod here so here's one of the pods and this pod is already getting spiky but there are few out here that are, are still just totally smooth and I encourage you to to feel like on the other side oh feel see the milk coming off by the way so cool um, to feel the the soft one and then you'll see this spiky one here so milkweed, if you don't know, somebody's opened a pod here, is this really silky, beautiful things. And it's got the little seed on the end. So it's packed, each pod is just packed with seeds, just incredibly packed with seeds. And uh, I'm gonna walk and talk here, turn it around, whoops, turn it around. Uh, incredibly packed with seeds and makes that fluffy stuff I remember reading um, a very thick book on the story of Sacagawea where um, cattail fluff and milkweed pod um, fluff is used for diapers, um, for, um, for female hygiene <laughs> to absorb. It absorbs stuff. So whenever I see milkweed pods, I think about that. I think about their uses. Oh, here's the inside of a pod. I gotta show that because, hold on, we're gonna turn this around again. Someone's opened another pod here. Do you see the shape of this? When I was a young girl, um, we would take the hard pods, so this one's still soft, but the dried pods, and we would make little Christmas decorations with them to sell at our church fair. We would put a little cotton and it, this was like the manger. <laughs> so when I see these, I have very happy memories of working with my sisters and my mom to make, um, make some natural Christmas decorations. And we had some hanging on our tree too. Uh, so connection and memory, that's another thing that um, I share with my clients when it comes to gratitude. So linking associations and gratitudes and memories um, can be something that is just really a great pressure-free tool. We don't spend enough time in gratitude usually and so noticing things that spin you into a little moment of gratitude can be a great way to keep those stress hormones from going out <laughs> for sure. And I also share with my clients and, and one of my clients brought this up um, I had some parents and students on my conference yesterday, and I'm going to be posting some things from that because incredible, it's just incredible what they were sharing. One of my parent clients actually she came to me and worked with me, and then I ended up working with one of her sons. She shared how, um, because if you have a busy household and you wake up in the morning, 
It can be really, uh, there can be so many things that trigger you. And so she uses my tool where you focus on something in the morning when you first wake up, what is something beautiful? So she has something really beautiful that she looks at. It immediately puts her in a pressure-free mood. So she's more able to deal with the morning with her kids. So it's not even dealing anymore. She actually has a beautiful day with her kids. <laughs> I have to share too that one of the other clients of mine, she was a sophomore when she worked with me going into her junior year. Good morning. Good morning, little one. <laughs> um, she was a she's going into her junior year and um, she shared how uh, she was really just being robotic and going through the motions, checking all the boxes because she wants to get into a really great college. She has very big dreams. She wants to be a U.S. Senator. And so she's, she said, she described it as being robotic. I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. And post pressure free working with me, her life is enjoyable. She's loving doing all these things. Isn't that what we want? for life to be enjoyable. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm going to take this as a new path here. Life, life is, life is meant to be beautiful. Oh, I have a butterfly. <laughs> life is meant to be enjoyed. It's meant for you to grow and you're going to have challenges. But if we don't overreact to those stressors and challenges, if we stay pressure free, so much more is possible for us and not just for us, but we also talked yesterday in the conference about the ripple effect. The ripple effect. So one person triggering stress hormones, and let's say it's a teacher. They're gonna go through their entire day under the influence of stress hormones. Oh, I got hair. <laughs> it's very sweaty out here. <laughs> Trying not to overreact. <laughs> um, so if you're under the influence of stress hormones all day long, that is going to impact how you are with other humans. You're going to actually cause secondhand stress in other people. So part of, part of becoming pressure free is taking responsibility, taking responsibility for your emotional health, for your physical well-being, and for those around you. And um, I've been really experiencing that a lot in the last 11 years and realizing where I've fallen short can't go back but we can go forward so this is a new day it's gorgeous kind of hot beautiful new day out here and I am I encourage you to embrace it I encourage you to connect people to pressure free please don't let people suffer um, one of the parents said you know people are suffering unnecessarily it's so true you don't need to be suffering if you have anxiety if your child is high anxiety all it is is the triggering of stress hormones. If we stop that, and you'll hear that when I, when I share some of these stories, it's incredible how quickly people stop having panic attacks, feeling anxious. <laughs> I just posted something this morning from three years ago. A client's mother posted to me, um, my daughter says she doesn't feel anxious before races anymore. That's so important. Because, you know, you'll think, oh, the butterflies are okay. They are not okay. If you experience butterflies before a race or a game, you're harming your body. Those are stress hormones causing those feelings. <laughs> and there's no reason for it. It's supposed to be fun. All these sports, all this music, all these things that we're, you know, encouraging children to do because it'll help them grow. You know, let's take it to the next level and let's make it actually optimal for them instead of them feeling so stressed out and so high pressure that they trigger stress hormones. Yeah, I gotta get off my soapbox. <laughs> but I wish you a great pressure-free day and really enjoy. So signing off, bye.